Hey guys! For those of you that are new or just dropping by, my name is Jordan and this is my daughter Emily. She is three months old today and I'm just here in this video to quickly share with you guys how, how I've been treating her cradle cap. <laughs> It wasn't super bad when she was like first born or anything. It was just sort of a gradual build, um, but it was just sort of that flaky, dry, um, flaky, dry skin kind of all along the top of her head. And then right up front on her crown, oh, I think she was just done sitting in my lap. So she's right over here on her play mat playing with her toys. But um, right at like the front part of her forehead, she had a little bit thicker. Um, more like scabbier almost looking. It was kind of like had a yellow tint to it, but it was just like a thicker scaly looking cradle cap. My first instinct was to just sort of leave it alone because there's nothing like harmful to them about having it. After a little bit of research, I read two things that made me decide to start looking into some natural ways to treat it. Um, one, it can stunt hair growth and she already had like a total grandpa hairline going on, which is fine. Like she'll grow her hair eventually, but if I could get it off and start evening that hair out, like, and it's not going to hurt her to do so, I figured why not. Um, and then the second one was that the kind of thick, scalier skin, just making noise over there, the thicker, scaly skin on there can, like, trap sweat and stuff under her skin, and so, like, it'll start to, like, stink underneath, and, like, the top of her head might smell. Um, and you notice that a little bit more when you're getting the, like, dead, flaky skin off. You can kind of, like, smell that it maybe had some trap sweat under it, but that wasn't something I wanted to like keep letting build up. So I started looking on Pinterest and some other things and one of the like most natural ways that I saw coming up a lot um, in my research was just putting coconut oil on it. So I've done this a couple of times and I can tell like a huge improvement after I do it. Um, but all you do is rub a little bit of coconut oil all over the part of their scalp that is scaly or dry or whatever the cradle cap might look like for you and um like for best results it's good to let that sit for um you know all day if you have it but like 10 or 15 minutes at least from what i read um, i once put it on like right before bed like just on the top so it wouldn't get anything else greasy um that's the only place she really needed it anyways but i let it kind of sit all night and bathe her the next day um, but that'll really just kind of soften that dead skin um, so that when you go to um, get it off, it comes off easy. It's not like you're having to press too hard or like scratch it off or anything like that. Um, then I just used a little baby bristly brush. It's just like kind of the soft bristles. They, um, I think, give you them at the hospital. This one came in a little um, like kind of bathroom bag sort of gift package. But you just sort of like get that wet and then go in circular motions or like to all to the back, all to the front, like, or you could kind of alternate mix it up. But you just rub that all over their head, like once the coconut oil has a while to sit. I've done it where I did that first and then kind of soaked it all off, or I've soaked all the coconut oil off and then did that and then kind of rinsed it all again. Um, one thing to, um, that's important to mention, like take note of, is that it is probably likely that you won't get all of the coconut oil off that first bath. Um, even if I scrub pretty good and rinse really good and soap her hair really good, it's usually a little bit greasy still afterwards and like for the next day. Um, so don't try this like right before a photo shoot or a you know family photo session of some kind or some big event. Um, but you know, a few days beforehand that'll give you time to maybe do a second bath if needed to get the coconut oil out of their hair because um, it just leaves it looking a little bit greasy and sometimes coconut oil is good as it can smell um, on its own. Like once it's sat on your skin for a while, it sort of gets a not as great of a smell. Um, but again, like that's really minor to how effective it is at treating the cradle cap. So just a side note, don't do it before a big event. But after you brush all of that dead skin loose and like you have to like, you know, press down, but don't press down and like scrub or anything. It's like a very gentle, whatever your baby likes, whatever it seems to be working for you. Um, but once you've knocked some of that 
skin loose, you can use like a fine tooth comb and sort of just comb it out of their hair or just rinse it. Um, you can leave it and I'm sure it'll fall off eventually, but I kind of like to use the comb and get some of those bigger pieces out. And that is pretty much it, you guys. It's very simple, coconut oil, and then bathe them and use a little bristle brush to get it off. Um, but it has been really effective for me. I wish I had like a really good before shot before the first time I did it. I didn't think to do that because I didn't know it worked yet, so I hadn't thought of making a video on it. But she had like just such thick, scaly, scabby looking skin right up there, and it just totally took that off. And so she'll still get like more on the top of her head. She'll get dry, flaky looking cradle cap, and so I'll still do the coconut oil, and that helps that. Um, for sure. Well, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was a super easy thing that I just learned um, in the last week or so and I thought that it might be able to help somebody else who has a baby with some cradle cap. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about what I did, make sure to leave them in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Check out our daily vlogging channel if you haven't and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!